everyone welcome back to another breaking bad reaction today i am going to be reacting to the show finale i have been waiting for this moment for so long i'm pumped about it but at the same time there's some a bit of bittersweetness in that i finally i've reached the end of an amazing tv show and um i can't wait to get started in the last episode the um walt had done the identity change and he was living in a cabin in new hampshire and then he got the f and then he tried calling his son who uh basically told him where he could go uh because walt jr is still under the impression that walt killed hank and then he saw gretchen and elliot on a talk show and they completely discredited his involvement in the in gray matter so walt is leaving walt left the cabin and it looks like he's going back to town it was um it was foreshadowed i forget which episode it was but in one of the earlier episodes it was foreshadowed that that Walt was back in his disguise of course and his neighbor Carol dropped her groceries in shock so this is going to be a crazy finale I am going to get started right away and see what happens before we do that if you're enjoying this content don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to the channel we also have a patreon which offers full unedited reactions well before they come to YouTube oh I'm so excited for this He's still in New Hampshire. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, ouch. Better get out of there before the cop. I think the cops are coming soon, so you want to get out of there, Walt. Oh, well, they're already here. <laughs> oh, you might want to duck. I love the reflection of the lights in his glasses. Some of the shots in the show are amazing. I'm gonna miss this show so much. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Maybe you should look there first, Walt. I saddled up the way I did go. Maybe tomorrow a bullet may fade in my heart. Wow, okay, so it looks like Walt is going to be traveling back to Albuquerque, New Mexico. I'm a little worried for Gretchen and Elliot in terms of what he has planned there, and obviously some other things as well. I think at some point he goes to a diner. We saw that at the very beginning of the episode. Who's he calling, Saul? Hello, this is David Lynn from the New York Times. <laughs> I, I was just calling to see if we can set it, but what we'd really love to get is a photo of Mr. And Mrs. Schwartz. Mm. When, when are they scheduled to get home? Oh. They'll be home tonight. Gotcha. And the address? Well, I'll be in contact with my photographer to check on his schedule. This should make one hell of a story. Oh, geez, yes. In more ways than one. I'm just saying it's apples and oranges. I, I maintain. Mm -hmm. if, if Oh, no. I mean, I mean what, what, is, what is the earthly <laughs> Did point I in comparing? Did I marry you? This it, is it, there's, different. They're completely, there's oh, no... Oh, man, I married. Oh, geez. <gasps> Has game oh, oh my god. Jeez. How is he gonna do it? Is he gonna sneak up on them or just confront them directly? Because I think I think he wants Gretchen to apologize and to give him the credit he deserves. Anyway, Napa? Yeah. How long? You wanna get the fireplace? Jeez. <laughs> This is so crazy. I can't believe he's just hiding around the corner there. They have no idea. And Bill and Miriam Ooh. Cohen. Action, right? Oh my god, Gretchen just has to turn around there. Wine and then... 
<laughs> oh, wow. Hello, Gretchen. Elliot, I really like your new house. Oh, my God. Elliot looks like he's going to shit himself. Walt, w w what are you doing here? I saw you on Charlie Rose. You look great. I can't say the same for Walt. Here to, to hurt us. Well, what, whatever it is you're planning. Actually, I'm here to give you something. It's out in my car. How about the three of us take a walk to it? No. Oh, jeez. What? If we're gonna go that way, you'll need a bigger knife. Yo, yeah, well, what a great quote. <laughs> Elliot's definitely in over his head there. It'll all fit. That's all right. That is 9,720,000. Why is it here? I earned it, and you're going to give it to my children. Walt, I don't think... On my son's 18th birthday, you will give him this money. I wouldn't trust Gretchen and Elliot. Why in particular would we... If you want to give your kids mm -hmm. drug money, do it yourself. I can't. My wife and son hate me. The federal government wouldn't let them. But two rich benefactors were known mm. for their charitable endeavors that your money would be very well. It wouldn't make any sense coming from us. It certainly would. My children are blameless victims of their monstrous father. Wow, what a moment of self-recognition there. Do it. You are not to spend a single dime of your own money. If there are taxes or lawyers' fees owed, they use my money, never yours. That, that sounds reasonable. <laughs> so what happens next? I guess we shake on it and I leave. But how do you, how can you guarantee Elliot will do it? Okay. Oh, she doesn't want to shake his hand. Oh, yeah. She cringed when she did that. I can't trust you to do this. Mm, I don't know. Absolutely you can. I mean, he has no choice, but I wouldn't trust these two as far as I could throw them. Don't move, don't. Don't dare move a muscle. You don't want them to think that you're trying to get away. Oh my god. I had an extra $200,000 that I gave it to the two best hitmen west of the Mississippi. <laughs> Is that Jack and his men? Whatever happens to me tomorrow, they'll still be out there. Ooh. And if my children do not get this money, a kind of countdown will begin a day or so later. Maybe a week, a year, and then suddenly... Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that scared me, too. And I don't even have a red dot on me. Darkness. Oh. This is where you get to make it right. Mm. Against their will. Oh. <laughs> Next step is to deal with Jack and his men. Okay, these are the hit men. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, right. You know, I don't exactly know how to feel about all this. For real, yo. The whole thing <laughs> felt kind of shady. And like... How do you feel now? <laughs> Better? I don't see those guys having any moral scruples. Have you heard anything? Is it still being sold? Yeah. By whom? It's you, right? Mm. Damn, man. We were sure it was you, because that shit is choice, yo. <laughs> Jesse. You said he moved to Alaska. That's what I heard. Right on, Jesse. Those guys are hilarious. What is he making? Mm. Oh, that's the... Is this a flashback? Because he made a box and shop and was going to give it to his mother. Oh. Mmm. Yeah, it was a fantasy. Oh my god, Jesse looks horrible. Oh, yes. Okay, so we saw this at the very beginning of the first episode of the season. It's my birthday. Mmm. Well, happy birthday. Ooh. I really hope Jesse gets away from Todd this time. I wonder if that's meant for Jack. That's obviously meant for somebody, but who? It's easy money. Why don't you say the word and uh, I'll take you on a ride along. You can watch us knock down a meth lab, huh? Oh, wow. A little excitement in your life. This brings back memories. Someday. <laughs> My goodness, how far is Walt, uh come from that time two years ago. 
Oh, Lydia's still around. Okay. She's going to meet with Todd. Oh, they got her Steven this time. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like your... Uh... She's letting him sit at the same table. Sure. <laughs> nice, yeah. Like... <laughs> That's not what you like, Todd. It's kind of a cornflower. Before you say or do anything, just hear me out. Just listen for two minutes and then I'll leave. No, please. Please. You're running out of methylamine, aren't you? I have a new method that requires no methylamine and it will keep you in business. How did you know to find us here? Every Tuesday morning, you and I met here. <laughs> Schedule oriented, I guess. <coughs> well, that, that could be a bad thing. <laughs> oh, wow. This cough is terrible. Oh, jeez. Oh, I need the money. Mr. White, I don't think... There's... How much would it cost us? Nothing short of a million. I think Jack should hear this. Yeah, I, I don't know. No. Come up there tonight. Talk to him. This is a win-win. Hi, -win. Right, what can I get for you two? He's just leaving. Good seeing you again. Take care. And I need more stevia. <laughs> so this is obviously part of Walt's plan. Doing business with him? That's of not... Of course. We're not doing business with him. Please, don't make me walk you through this. You'd be doing him a favor. Jeez. Oh my god, have a little coffee with your stevia there, or tea or whatever. Wow. Out to the back door. Oh wow, he's got something set up here. What is he making? Some sort of gadget. Walt was obviously as good at, almost as good at physics as he was at chemistry. Your old next-door neighbor, the one on the right, what's her name, Becky? Carol. But Carol's on the right. She saw him just this morning, plain as day. She said he looked exactly like the Unabomber. The Unabomber. Apparently he has some sort of manifesto he wants to be on the 6 o'clock news. Wow, crazy rumors. They're watching the high school, probably watching your place, too. Looks like somebody's watching Marie's place there. They are absolutely going to catch him, no doubt about it. You be on the lookout, okay? Thanks. Skyler looks a bit rough. Five minutes. Five minutes. Oh, jeez. There he is. Oh, my God. You didn't kill anybody sneaking in her, did you? Didn't have to. You look terrible. Yeah. Oh, did I detect some, some tenderness in her voice there? Why are you here? It's over, and I needed a proper goodbye. So you're going to the police? They'll be coming to me. Oh. What stops those people from coming back? Three men came in the middle of the night threatening Holly and Flynn and me. Told me not to talk about that woman I saw at the car wash. They're not coming back. Not after tonight. Oh. What's tonight? We don't want your money, Walt. I don't have any to give you. All I have to give you is this. Oh. Call the DEA once I leave. Tell them I wanted bacon and eggs on my birthday. <laughs> and that I gave you that ticket. Those numbers are GPS coordinates. For what? A burial site. Mm. That's where they'll find Hank and Steve Gomez. Ooh. Oh. It's where I buried our money. And the men who stole it from us, they murdered Hank and Steve and put them in that hole. Now you trade that for a deal with the prosecutor. Skyler. You need to understand. I have to hear that you did this for the family. I did it mm. for me. Oh, you told the truth. You finally told the truth. Oh my God. I liked it. Wow. I he finally comes clean. It. I was really, I was alive. I mean, I think Skylar knew that all along. Flynn will be home soon. Before I go, may I see her? Aw. Well, that was nice of Skylar. So she'd be almost two now. That's crazy. Skylar still has positive regard for him after all that. That's kind of crazy to wrap your head around. I don't know that he should just be out in the open like that. Just wanted one last look at Flynn. Mm. Must be must be devastating to Walt that Flynn hates him. So Walt's gonna take care of Jack and his men and maybe at the same time himself. I, I have no idea how it's gonna end for Walt. 
Whew. This thing's a classic. 500 or the 425. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Her too. It's the clubhouse. And so Walt gets to say goodbye to Jesse. Park it right in front of me. No, 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 straight in, man. Just right, fine. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> That's Walt's way or the highway. While you're at it, you lift your shirt up. Christ, I'm not wearing a wire. Okay. My wallet and keys. Yeah, you get them back. Just relax. Oh, this is, oh my goodness, this is gonna be scary. Ooh, what is gonna happen? I think it has something to do. That's not a wig? No. What were you doing before, shaving it? Yes. That is one fine head of hair. <laughs> Can we talk business? Mm, I don't think so, no. Thing is, we're not really in the market. You're running low on methylamine, what happens then? No, we'll get more. Quail woman's got her own setup, the heat's off her. It ain't broke, so why fix it? You really shouldn't have come back, Mr. White, sorry. Wait, Jack. Take him out back. Jack, you yeah. owe me. Come on. Oh, I owe you what for? Jesse Pinkman. You're his partner now. No, no, that's what you stop. Partners. What are you talking? He's alive, isn't he? He's cooking for you. Mm, Jesse's more like the slave. Where's that little piece of shit? He's finishing up a bat. Well, go get him. Bring him here. Uncle Jack. Hustle it up. Come on, let's get this over with. Let me show you just how wrong you are. And I'm putting that bullet in your head myself. Oh, I hope Walt has a good plan here. I do like the idea that Walt's gonna have a chance to at least say goodbye to Jesse. Oh, man, I hope Jesse gets away. Oh, he's got a plan. What is some sort of a car bomb? Oh, didn't quite get to it. Ooh, what is his plan? You see what I'm talking about, you son of a bitch? At least he can say goodbye to Jesse. Now, does this look like a partner to you? Come here! Oh, he looks so bad. He looks terrible. Jesse hates Walt. Take a look at him. Have a gander. Is he gonna spit in his face again? Hard working, good partner. 50 50 partner. <laughs> Todd, you get him off, would you? <laughs> oh! Oh my god! Oh wow! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh! I think they put enough rounds in it. Wow. I don't think Walt needed quite that many rounds, but better better safe than sorry, I suppose. Wow, that's a crazy plan. That's what he was building in oh, I hope Jesse's okay and I think Walt got hit. Todd's still alive? Does it have any rounds left? Nope. Oh. oh wow, Jesse! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Payback time, Todd. Oh. Uh, Jesse definitely owed Todd that. Oh. He's gonna help him out here. Oh. Oh my God. Holy shit. Okay, Jesse's free. Yay. Wait. No, don't listen to him. Just off this guy. You want your money, right? You want to know where it is? You pull that trigger, you never. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Walt owed Jesse that. Is he gonna thank him or does he still hate him? No, don't, Jesse. Don't. No. Dude. Don't. Oh, no. You want this? Say the words. Say you want this. Nothing happens until I hear you say it. I want this. Oh, I thought he was going to do it. Oh, my God. Do it yourself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if Jesse shot him, that just would have ruined the ending for me. Lydia, say, have you met Lydia? <laughs> A nice ringtone. Pick up the phone. Hello. Is he gone? Yeah, it's done. They're all gone. Who is this? It's Walt. Oh, jeez. Nice little feeling? surprise for Lydia. Kind of under the weather, like you've got the flu. Oh, he gave her that ricin? That would be the ricin I gave her. Oh, shit. I slipped it into that stevia crap. That oh. 
goodbye, Lydia. Well, no final, no final goodbye for Walt and Jesse, I guess. Well, Jesse's just gonna get the heck out of Dodge. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesse's one character that deserves to live. Oh, yeah, he's wounded. Hmm. I wonder if he meant for that to happen because obviously he doesn't want to he doesn't want to live past this point. Oh, here come the police. Interesting song. That I forget. Some last minute nostalgia here. I had for you, baby blue. Oh, he's just, oh well. <laughs> I don't know if I should cry for Walt. All the days became so long. No. Did you read? ironic that he's just the end of his life came in the middle of the meth the uh, lab there interesting um, interesting camera angle oh <laughs> this reminds me of when Walt was lying on the floor um, in the basement when he didn't have enough money for the identity change I love the framing of this show Okay, wow, so that is it, I guess. Oh my goodness, okay. Wow, so we are at the end. Oh my goodness, it's been a, a fun, amazing ride. Uh, too short. Six seasons or five seasons sounds like a lot, but it just flew by. Um, Jesse, Jesse survived. I was hoping that Jesse would get away from, get escape from Todd and Jack, and he did. Uh, I like the the gadget that Walt built in the desert. That was interesting. Uh, very uh, looks like Walt is as good as as good at physics as he is at chemistry, as I was saying. And he did have some final um, goodbyes with Skyler and with Jesse. Um, well, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't say they were great goodbyes, but he did get to see the people that he somewhat cared about. If, you know, if Walt, if there arguably is anybody that Walt cared about outside of himself, Skylar and Jesse would be two of them. And of course, Holly. He didn't really get to say goodbye to Flynn because I don't think Flynn would have wanted to talk to him, but he got to see him from a distance. All the bad guys are gone, um, including Walt himself, who arguably turned into the bad guy as the show progressed more and more. Overall, it was an amazing show. I don't know, a lot of you have suggested um, throughout the course of the show that I go ahead and do Better Call Saul. And so that is the plan to go ahead with Better Call Saul. There's also a movie, El Camino, which kind of, I think it I think it focuses on Jesse and what what happens to Jesse after. I'm um, I'm really looking forward to the aftermath from Jesse's perspective. He's gotten away. So I don't know what his life will be like after. I don't know how much money Jesse has, if he still has any. Uh, looks like he threw it all away. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with Jesse. And then after that is Better Call Saul. And I have no idea what to expect for Better Call Saul. I know that I've been told that Mike and Gus are in the show. I'm assuming the Salamanca, the Salamanca family as well will be in it, um, along with new characters. I think it's a prequel, so it's Saul's life before he meets Walt. I'd love to uh, be interesting to see how Saul became who he was. I wonder if it has his backstory and, you know, life, what his life was like before he met Walt, how he became associated with the cartel and with Gus and with Mike and everybody. So that, that will be another amazing treat to look forward to. 
the next time you see me i may be it may be reacting to better call soul it may be a movie not sure but i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for following along breaking bad was an amazing ride and i will see you guys in the next one